my flight from Vancouver going to Montreal was pretty terrible. The plane was tiny, the seats were tiny, there was no leg room at all, especially once I had my camera backpack in front of my legs. The flight was at 11.20 p.m. and it would basically go throughout the night, right? Which means my plan was to just sleep on the plane as much as I could. And once I got to Montreal in New York time, I would just try to plow through the day, stay up, have some coffee, and then go to bed pretty early in New York time so that I would adjust from the Vancouver time. But I just couldn't find any comfortable position. And then like maybe two hours into the flight, the oxygen levels, they were low. Maybe there was some kind of announcement that I didn't hear because I was asleep or something, but it was just so hard to breathe for about an hour in the middle. I was just having to breathe like <gasps> just to get like a decent breath of air. That was hard. I really don't want to go by suffocating, you know? Also burning, like burning is not fun. Don't spill hot olive oil and butter onto your hands. It's not fun. Don't do it. No. Montreal. to New York. I'm in New York. Gonna be looking for the baggage claim. But yeah, finally here. Shake shot. Sleepy captain. Is claim. I really hope everything made it here. I brought so much gear. That's basically like half of my baggage, so better have made it. I'm sad I couldn't bring my guitar and my MIDI controller, but you gotta make do. I was gonna grab one of those airport cards, but it's like six dollars, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> I can carry it by hand. Jones Beach in Long Island, I think. Wow, such a big beach. It's very windy out here, overcast day, so pretty good lighting. But yeah, this is the first time seeing the Atlantic Ocean up close, I think. So it's pretty exciting.
So I was at Jones Beach with my aunt and my cousin and we were just chilling. We had our uh, nice little blanket on the beach and we opened the bag of Lay's chips, right? As you would at the beach, you know, you have some snacks. But then I accidentally dropped like one or two chips and then suddenly the seagulls everywhere just started flocking around us. They're like, because it was so windy, they were able to just like fly right in front of our faces, just like, give me food, give me more food. There's this one seagull that was a little bit bigger and a little uglier than the other ones. And it was constantly calling out, telling all the birds within like two miles around us to come and have these chips. There are only like two chips, but like there was a huge group of seagulls just around us. And then later on, we were walking across the beach and we found another group that was having, I think it was fries or maybe it was hot dogs or something. And oh boy, these seagulls just won't leave them alone. Finally made it to NYU, walking in the streets for the first time. Wow, it's pretty nice here. Wasn't that hard to get to actually. Yeah, I'm doing an orchestration placement test today and the faculty orientation, so that'll be interesting. Wish me luck. Ta-da! Just took like 40 minutes to get my NYU card. That was a really long lineup. Now off to my orchestration exam finally. On the seventh floor of the education building. This is where all the music people are. A few moments later. Just finished my orchestration placement exam. Just gonna show you around a bit. first time, bus here is first time. Had lots of fun. The orientation was a little long and I couldn't really hear what the professor was saying because the mics weren't really good. So that was a bit of a struggle, but it was a great first day. Met a bunch of nice people. I think there's about 20 of us in the screen scoring class. So that'll be interesting to get to know all of them. And since we share all the same, same interests and stuff, I think it'll be really fun. I thought the orchestration test was pretty easy. Most of it was kind of pretty basic stuff, ranges, names of instruments, clefs, rolls, transpositions, that kind of stuff. So didn't have too much of a hard time doing it. Standing in line for an hour doing my student card stuff, that took a long time. So I'm pretty tired from that. And the humidity here is just so much more humid, obviously, compared to Vancouver. So it's just so sticky and damp compared to what I'm used to. But I also met some guy from uh, Louisiana today that was saying that it was really dry here for him, so. Ugh. Anyways, that's the end of the vlog, I think. See you guys in the next one. Oh my gosh. 
significant rains, historic rains for the tri-state area. Historic flooding. A flash flooding siege in the northeast. The streets is chronicled by this homeowner impassable. Multiple deaths reported as the remnants of Ida merged with the front to produce chaos. In the last few hours, we've just watched this entire road get drenched with rain now. Oh my gosh.